Right, we're going to replace some pads on a hydraulic Shimano uh, disc brake. These are contaminated. Um, it's the front brake. As you can hear, that's contamination on the pads when you get the tube back a noise. That's contamination there. So we're going to replace these pads in the Shimano brake. This goes for my Shimano brakes really. These just your M525s or similar, it's your base model. Um, so, first thing to do is to pop the brake out, the, the wheel out, sorry. Just trying to do a quick release. And the wheel pops out. And the pads aren't too worn, as you can see there. But the, uh, the brakes in contaminated oil, something like that, has contaminated the brakes. So the first thing to do is to take this split pin out here, a pair of pliers. Just flatten the end off with the pliers so you can push it out of the hole like that. Put that to one side. These pads push it that way, so I just push on them and they will come out here. So, the next thing to do is push the pistons out, so inside there, you've got a piston on that side, and a piston on that side, and if you look, they're not that one, but if you look, the piston is just proud of the brake itself, so we need to push that out. The easiest way to do it is with 10, 12 mil spanner, whatever you can get in there, just push them in. We've got a 10mm spanner out, so put it in the middle of the uh, piston and then just give it a give it a tweak and that'll push the piston in and then do the other side. You might have to do it a couple of times because the piston tends to come out on one side when you're pushing the other side in. If that continues to happen and the piston keeps coming out uh, when you push one side and the other one comes out if that keeps happening uh, then you may have to let a little bit of fluid out because somebody may have bled the brakes with pads in there uh, that were quite worn so the next thing to do is get the pads and put those in this one just uses your standard Shimano pads you just bring in the middle of them That spring can be taken out, but easy enough to put in. All you do is squeeze them together. It is quite difficult with one hand. And push them in. Just make sure that they're in line with the hole at the back. Like that. So those are in. Make sure you go, it looks like you've got enough space for the disc to go in between them. Then we get the split pin. Which is here. It's just a normal split pin. Split pin. And it goes through. This hole here. Make sure that it goes through both pads. Give it a little wiggle. And then check around the back, make sure it's gone through both pads and the spring. And all we have to do is bend out the end of it. Pliers back.
Then the end of the pin armor. Then the wheel goes back in. What you've got to make sure you do when the wheel, when the brakes have been contaminated is you've got to make sure that you clean the disc rotor. Clean it with either um, disc clutch brake cleaner or a good degreaser that's going to sort of evaporate. Just spray it on there, wipe it all off. I'll use some degreaser. Um, mint bug degreaser. It'll do the job. Just get it all on there, give it a good spray, and then get a cloth. A clean one. You don't want to put any grease back on there. That's all nice and clean. All we do now is put the wheel back on. So move it up. Make sure that the rout is in between the disc brake pads. And then slide the wheel in. I'm gonna have to put this down so I can do it with two hands. Okay, the wheel's back in. Put it in, close with the quick release. It's spinning nice and freely, just check how free it spins, make sure it doesn't bind. Pull on it, and we've got no squeaking now. Look how you can hear everything on it. No squeaking. The lever pulls in nice. You can adjust the lever using that grub screw there with the 2mm Allen key. Put it in there, screw that in, and it'll pull the lever out, make the brake feel a little bit better, but the reach will be more. Um, so that's pretty much it. If it is rubbing on one side of the disc, then we just undo that and that, and then pull on the brake lever to centre the brake, then tighten them both up while holding the brake lever, and that should centre your disc. I hope this helps.